Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about absolute value equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So if I was given this equation, absolute value of k minus 10 okay, equals 3. So absolute value of k minus 10 equals 3. Well, I need to isolate the absolute value. Already done. So now I can separate this into two equations. k minus 10 equals a positive 3 and k minus 10 equals a negative 3. We separate the absolute value equal to a positive and negative, whatever's on the right here, okay? So k minus 10 equals positive 3, k minus 10 equals negative 3. Now I'm going to solve each equation individually. I'm going to add a 10 to both sides, leaving me with k equals a positive 13. And I'm going to add a 10 to both sides here, leaving me with k equals a positive 7. And so when I write my answers, I usually like to write at least the greatest, okay? And so the two values that k can be in this equation are k equals 7 and 13. And that's our final answer. So let's recap. We started with the absolute value of k minus 10 and then equals 3. Well, since the absolute value is already isolated, I can separate the equations, okay? I separated them be k minus 10 equals, on the left side, positive 3, and the left, right side, negative 3. I then added 10 to both sides of both equations. That allowed me to uh, finish here with, on the left side, k equals 13, and on the right side, k equals 7. Okay? Because 3 plus 10 is 13, and negative 3 plus 10 is a positive 7. When I wrote my final answer, I wrote it in increasing order, right? Uh, 7 and 13. So our final answer here is k equals 7 and 13. 